<laughs> What's up guys, I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build, where we know better than to trust a big butt and a smile. This is not a fail video, but these are failures. This is my learning curve. <laughs> um, I had set out to make some, uh, some coasters, some uh, burnt wood and epoxy coasters. And while some of them aren't horrible, hey, that's not too bad. It's got some bubbles in it. Um, unlike this one, yeah, that looks pretty decent. I even did some ones without wood in them at all. So those are kind of cool. I just did epoxy pours. I just don't like them. They just all feel too plasticky to me. Uh, to, uh, to manufacture. And don't get me wrong, I love me some epoxy. But for whatever reason, this application, I don't like it. And I was originally gonna make this a fail video. Because honestly, at the end of it, I mean, I did redeem myself a little bit with the straight epoxy pours. They don't look too bad. Still needs a little sanding. But, <laughs> when I was editing that video, was the day I found out my father died. And I don't need a bunch of condolence comments. I appreciate it, thank you. That's not why I'm telling you this. The reason I'm telling you that is because I've had a mental block ever since when it comes to that video. Anytime I open it up to edit it, I just, I just can't do it. Very uneasy feeling and whatnot, bringing back some memories. It's just not, not fun. So today, today, we redeem ourselves. Today, I'm gonna make some new coasters and I'm gonna make that damn video. That's right, we're gonna go back to basics on this biatch. I really should never be this close to the camera. But we are gonna go back to basics. When you do something and you do it well, do it more. That's what I always say. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn these bad boys, we are going to brush them, and we are going to finish them, and they are just gonna be burnt wood coasters, baby. These are similar to a product that another maker makes on Instagram, and he sells them in his Etsy store. So if you would rather buy them than make them yourselves, check out his uh, Instagram, which will link you to his Etsy. I'll link it down below. Uh, it's, it's JBSO Designs. Um, beautiful work. Support your fellow makers. Check out his Etsy store. Cool, cool, doggy. <laughs> Alright, let's do this shit. So, here's how we're gonna do this. I've already explained this once, so if I skip a step, it's not, I don't, I'm not doing it intentionally. Um, I already shot a whole other video on this, but we're gonna go back and make it fresh. So fresh, so clean, that it would be the Dirty Prince of Bel Air. That didn't even make any sense. Jesus. So here's what we're gonna do. I have my station already set up. All right, first things first. I have my four x four here. It is on my trusty ladder. Yes, I burn things on it, and I also use it as ladder. Don't believe everything you hear, kids. Ladder works fine. So first, we're gonna I'm gonna burn the end of this, and then I'm gonna move it over to my chop saw. I already have a stop block set up for a little over a half inch, and so I'm just gonna burn, cut, burn, cut, burn, cut, burn, cut. Hopefully if that works like that, then I will come in and I will brush them afterwards. So we'll do, we'll probably do four, just to see if, if that process is gonna work. And if it does work, then we'll probably crank a bunch more out. We'll see. But, as young kids say, let's do this, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear these, I can't see in these in, in the shop, but you get the idea. It's, it's a whole thing. Okay, so here we are. Uh, next, we're gonna finish the first couple of these I'm gonna finish in Maker Brand Simple Finish. This finish is probably one of the best oil finishes I've found. I'll link it below, and then you guys are gonna bitch <laughs> because it's expensive. But honestly, guys, you get what you pay for in, in finishes, and 
when you get into like your general finishes and stuff like that, they're just better. I don't know how else to explain it. All right, sorry about that. I almost forgot to glove up. All right, so pour a little bit of this in here. Man, we had a party a little bit ago and we had these cocktail glasses left over. They're perfect for like finishes and stuff like that because you can just use them and either rinse them out or if they're too jacked up, you just throw them away and you don't have to worry about it. I will probably buy a sleeve of them once, uh, once this is gone or these are gone. Okay, so we're gonna just try this on here. Simple finish. So look at how that's just bringing that grain out. I'm telling you guys, the stuff is amazing and well worth the price tag. But we will try some other stuff because I know somebody out there is gonna say they can't afford it and I understand. Especially if you're a hobbyist, it's not a, you know, $40 can of finish or whatever this is. May not be in the budget. So we're doing these for actually uh, Hurricane Harvey survivors. I, I, those of you that have been on the channel for a while may know uh, that my wife and I lost our house in Harvey. So anything I can do to give back to anybody that, that was affected by it. I will link to uh, her name, her Instagram handle is Ms. Junkin, Miss Junkin. And she is uh, heading this up. I'm actually making these for her. And then she she's working with an organization that actually can give these to, as gifts for uh, people that uh, that people that, people that were displaced by Harvey, kind of in the Victoria area, I believe. Um, but you know, I mean, new beginnings are always they're scary, but they're not necessarily a bad thing. If uh, if Hurricane Harvey had not happened, um, I probably would not have this channel because I wouldn't have been inspired to build my first thing and film it. So um, not not all, everything that came out of that was not necessarily bad. So with this finish, you basically wipe it on, you let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then you do another coat, and you're done. So, like you don't need to really worry too much that if you've got like extra on there at this point. Let me look at that already. Can you see how that's just popping that grain out? Okay, so I am not going to film me putting on a second coat of finish on and wiping it off. I, I'll just show you the finished project. But now I'm gonna make a bunch more of these and then uh, we'll just, we'll play around with some of them. See what we get. Cool? Cool, doggies, cool. And bam, just like that. Look at all these coasters. Okay, I know that's probably weird because I probably didn't jump in the beginning, and I think I was wearing a hat. I got hot out here, man. And I forgot about the jumpy thing. So, bah, here we go. And now, since this is Build Dad Build, we gotta put a little rock and roll on him, if you know what I mean. I was gonna say stank, but. <laughs> we gotta put a little stank on him. guys those have had a chance to dry and I feel redeemed this batch turned out a lot better than this mess uh, but I did have <laughs> did a little setback uh, as a lot of you may or may not know I, I accidentally torched my GoPro and since then it has been behaving oddly what I'm trying to say is uh, I lost some footage. Uh, I did record, I know that it was recording, uh, but the files were corrupted or something, I'm not sure exactly. I couldn't open them, they don't work. 
So I will walk you through some of the process. Mainly, let's put it this way. Anything that I put stain on, not the Maker Brand Simple Finish, but like a stain. If I did like the oak stain, or I think I did, uh, I think I did red oak stain and uh, natural stain maybe, the results on those were, were bad. They were just super dark, couldn't see any detail. Basically, I ended up taking the brush, stripping them back down to bare wood, and then I went ahead and just re-dyed them and kind of played around some of the dyes and things like that. The sun bleach stain, I did not like the way that looked by itself. I did come in with the brush and take a lot of that off, and then I went back uh, with a colored stain and went over it. So, let me show you the results. First up, we, we should have no shock here, the red, Looks fantastic. Check that out. Pretty cool, huh? Next up, I have the dark blue. It actually is so dark, it's almost like a dark, deep purple. I, that probably looks black on camera. It actually looks really good. I just don't know if it's gonna translate well. It's just a really dark, dark, uh, kind of like really royal purple. Uh, next up, I just set this one aside. This is the green. Um, it came out a little bit more yellow, honestly, because it has that kind of like moss color to it, and I think it just makes this look kind of like, <laughs> like it's a coaster that has, has moss on it. <laughs> uh, next up is one of the ones that didn't do very well. It was the yellow dye, and honestly, it just, there wasn't enough of it there, so I went back over it with the red, and it got me this kind of orangey look. Uh, this looks much better than the yellow did. And then next up, we have the simple finish. Again, that one's another one that's gonna be, uh, it's just a, it's a really rich dark color. Okay, and then the last one of the experiments, this is the sun bleach that I went and uh, I kind of brushed over and then I went back over the blue. Uh, it gives you kind of a little bit more of a lighter blue. I don't know how to describe it other than it kind of gives you that, you see that? Kind of gives it a little bit more dimension. Okay, so that is one, two, three, four, five. Five sets of coasters that are gonna to go to Miss Junkin for Harvey victims. And like I said, I feel, I feel the redemption. I feel like, I feel like I was not meant to do this. Oops. I feel like I was meant to do that. And then one more that I'm kind of experimenting on. Um, you didn't see a whole lot of it on there because there wasn't a whole lot to do with them. You're gonna hear my neighbors act like idiots. It's like a holiday today, so they're gonna be out screwing off. They'll probably kick up the jams in a minute, man. This is something I'm working with, and those are just straight gator char. And I've sealed it with the lacquer that I used on everything else, but um, it's just under my fingers. It's, I mean, it's not coming off. You know, that doesn't come off, but like, it doesn't feel solid enough to me. I'm afraid if this was in somebody's house, like, after some use, these pieces would start chipping off. I, f I need to figure out a way to, like, kind of impregnate that a little bit more. I think the Halcyon may do it. Um, I just, I was spraying everything else. I didn't have enough Halcyon to do them all. I have a set of these. These will probably wind up in my office for now. Pretty cool. All right, guys, so you saw how easy that process was. I've got five sets sitting over there. There's an incomplete set because of the green debacle. So that's six sets plus the set that I'm keeping. So it's seven sets that I made. So that's what, seven times four is math, 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 math. 28, 28, 21, 28. Can't be 21. Okay, and look at how much of this I have left. I could easily make triple that, probably quad quadruple that. I could make a lot of coasters out of this. This is 12 bucks. So 12 bucks plus die, you've got one of kind of unique gifts that you can make for people. Also, this is a really entry level project for learning how to torch wood and kind of getting a feel for it without having to work with a big piece. These are all, these are all basically flat. I think part of that is doing them in a half inch. I mean, just make them a little, a little beefier. Who doesn't like it beefy? Beefy. Beefy. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it for this episode. I, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. If you have some negative, evil, hateful crap to say in the comments, go say it on somebody else's page. I don't have time for that. If you put hate down in my comments, I'm just gonna delete it. If you have constructive criticism, man, I'm all about it. I love that, but other than that, I mean, you need to rethink life if, uh, if you're gonna insult random people on the internet. 
uh, just because uh, you had a bad day or, uh, or your mom yelled at you when you were living in her basement. And as always, I want to say thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you guys haven't had a chance yet, go check out that page. It's just one of those ways to help me grow my channel and keep producing videos for you guys to watch. Also, Steven Man. All right, guys, until next time, thanks for playing. I gotta get to work. That's right, kids. We're going back to basics on these bees. <laughs> so fresh, so clean that your mama would use it as a tamp. Nah, don't say that.